Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a line that's parallel or perpendicular to a given line. So I'm going to do two questions. Uh, here's the first one. It asks us to draw a line parallel to AB that passes through the point C. And the second question will draw a line that's perpendicular. Okay. Um, so we know that parallel lines have the same slope. Parallel means same slope. So what we're going to do, we'll calculate the slope of this line here, uh, and then we'll draw a line that has the same slope. So there's two different ways we could, at least two different ways we could do it. We can count the rise and the run on the graph here, or we can use the slope formula. Maybe I'll use the slope formula just for practice. So we know that slope is equal to the difference in the y, so y2 minus y1 over the difference in the axis. Um, so we need to number these, we need to label these as our x1 and y1 and x2 and y2. So it doesn't really matter which point is the first point. I guess I'll go with a, just alphabetically. So I've got my a point will be the point 1, and I, the coordinates are x, y. So I'll have x1 y1, and then for b I'll have x2, y2. So then that gives me my slope, we'll have y2 is negative 1, subtract y1 is 2, over x2, so that's 1, subtract x1 is negative 3. So here's one of those cases where we've got to watch those negatives really sharply. So we get 1 subtract 2, negative 1 subtract 2, so that's negative 3. 1 subtract negative 3, so that's 1 plus 3. So that's negative 3 fourths. We can also write that, of course, just with the negative out front. So what, we, what that tells us is that the line we're going to draw, it's going to look kind of like this, right? We know that because we want it to be parallel to AB but it's going to have a slope of negative 3 fourths. So knowing that will help us get another coordinate of the line to have it be in exactly the, another coordinate of a point on the line so that it's in exactly the right place. So this top number will make our negative 3. Here's the story. If we make our negative 3 the rise, we go down 3 from here and then a run of 4, and we'll just kind of be off the page, which is no real problem, but it's a slight nuisance. So let's consider our negative 3 over 4. Let's write that as 3 over negative 4. The only reason this is better is because it'll give us another point that's right in the middle of the page instead of being off the page. So the, the rise will be 3 and the run will be negative 4. We will get the same line either way, but if we have a point here, it's a bit inconvenient. If we have a point here, it would be perfect. So we're starting at our point C. Now we're going to draw the line parallel to AB, and it's going to go through C. So if we're drawing the line, we always start with the point that we know. We'll do a rise of 3, so up 3, 1, 2, 3, and then a run of negative 4, so that'll be to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. That puts us here. So this, we'll call that point D, I guess. We've got A, B, C. So that is the point negative 1. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. So then this line will be the line that goes through these two points. Okay, so we wanted to draw a line parallel to A, B. So just to be sure, we know it's got to look about like this, but just to be real careful about it, we calculate the slope of AB, and then we use that to find the slope of another point on CD. So here we're going to have another, I'll oh, ask another question here. Draw a line that's perpendicular to AB, and I've got the same AB, just to save a bit of time, and that passes through B. So what this is going to look like, it'll be something like this, a point goes through B, and it's perpendicular to AB. 
So we just calculated the slope of AB, and we know that it's negative 3 fourths. Let's just have that right here. We talked about putting the negative sign in any place we want. Oops. Okay. So now we'll talk the perpendicular slope, which we call m perp. So it's fun to say, and it's fun to write, too, the slope with a little perpendicular sign. It's the negative reciprocal for perpendicular slopes. So AB had a negative slope, so the perpendicular slope will be positive. And then the reciprocal means we flip it upside down. So it's positive 4 thirds. So here's the rise, and here's the run. So to get another point, we want a point, it should be somewhere along here. We'll start from the point B, because we know that B is on our line, because that's what they asked us for. The rise will be 4. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4. And then a run of 3. 1, 2, 3. So I'll double check. A rise of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and a run of 3. 1, 2, 3. Good. So this point says that the coordinates 4, 3. Then our line is the line that goes through those two points, which looks like that. Alright, so just to review, if you want to draw a line that's parallel or perpendicular to a certain line, uh, you'll find the slope of the first line and then decide what the slope of the second line should be. It's the same if it's parallel, or if it's negative reciprocal, if it's perpendicular. And then just use that slope, and a, you'll know at least one point. Use the slope and a point you know to find another point on the line, and then connect them. Alright, good luck!